everyone, Bloomboot back here again with time for some more Undertale, Pacifist Root Edition. Um, last time we beat Undyne, well, we spared Undyne, and now we are going to see, uh, we're going to meet Papyrus at her place. Last time, the last route I did, I couldn't get into her house at all. So... Now we'll just see. Maybe I, I, I really hope I can get in. It's a living. Hey, Papyrus, can I, can I go in? Oh, oh the human arrives. Oh, this is new. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan. <coughs> I have a plan to make you two great friends. Okay, stand behind me. Give her this. She loves these. A bone? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? This is so freaking happy. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. The virus. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. <coughs> I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? And then that's not it. To humiliate me, humiliate me even further? Is that it? No! Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful! I accept! Is she... Is she being sarcastic? Now she's being so sarcastic. <laughs> Lots of frolic in the field of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my home for house guest, I'd be you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought I'm going to be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. No, he's peeking in the window. <laughs> he flew away. <laughs> I can't believe I missed this the first time. Challenge? What? Papyrus? Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? <clears throat> like, wait, right here? Can, can, can I sing it? Sit down in progress? Can, can I... Can I walk around first? Undyne? I, 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 I want to explore your house. She told me to have a seat. I don't want to be rude. Can I, can I... Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wield the swords up to ten times their size. Right? Oh, totally true. Hey, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alpha pulled the giant sword together. She figured out all this extra stuff. She's smart, huh? I haven't met her yet, and in this playthrough, but I've met her before, and yeah, she is... Very smart. That speaks the funniest thing. The Paris is the funniest thing. One time, Alpha's uh, friend came over here. I'll think it was lie seductively on the piano. This begs a question. How often does, does was it 
with Metaton or with Metaton EX because I didn't I didn't unleash Metaton. It must have just been regular Metaton. <clears throat> How does a bomb play seductively on a piano? And fed himself grapes? Are we talking are we still talking about what? I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Sounds like Metatoni X, but that would make no sense. In this thing is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is on top of the light MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology... As much tech... Blah! But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Yeah, fire magic too, not just like Toriel. Forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Hey, just like my house. I hate cold food, so Alphys picks up my fridge and heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. You know, she's not trying to slice her head off. She's really a cool kid. Girl, woman, fish. You wanna see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Oh, you get the ferris in your room, huh? Let's do some less progress. <coughs> Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I'm just waiting for her to like poison me or something. Or you know, near <coughs> All set. What would you like? Gonna... I knew it! Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use this beer. Aim with arrows and select what's in the Poison it, isn't she? It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Oh, a fire magic. Slide whistle noise. Okay, it's all done. It's gonna like. It's gonna spill everywhere on a broken table. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Poison. Golden flower tea. Ah, it really is poison. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. 
And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He kept looking the little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he is not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right, cooking with a killer fish. Nothing is proper past that I close than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. Who <laughs> afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Let's start with the sauce. This is like hanging on your skin. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now pound them to the dust with your fist. If you're not strong, they're going to explode. Those are tomatoes. Oh my god. Stop patting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. See? You made a mess. Uh, we'll just get this into a bowl later. But for now... Oh, well, she's hanging on the ceiling. We have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do the lap. Uh, just put them in the bowl. You throw them in here, so they're going to spill it. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pot. As a general rule, thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. She's really gonna kill me now. Ah, man, no wonder Papara sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! What? Ah! What? No! Ah! Yeah! Oh! Ah! Oh, go get it. Oh, it's coming. I'm gonna let my guard down. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even built a friend here. Yeah. I don't care if you're my guest. Gosh! 
You pretend to swing it and then with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Now what if you had spared her there to kill her here? Like you, you, like... I... Would that be possible? I don't think so, because you'd have to kill Papyrus first. Oh yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. Really? At first, I hated your stupid s saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Ah, Papyrus. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some human human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the pirates. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Uh... Sounds like only fire lives here now. Oh no, hold the phone, I don't wanna... Oh yeah. Wait, wait. Why well, walk all the way back to Snowden? Why well, I can go be a fairy person. Uh, care for a ride? Where will we go today? Then we're off. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the virus. We're going to the very beam of Tra la la, Tammy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. again sometime. Tra la la. my way 
back. Wait. person behind. Who would do such a thing? Tra la la, care for a ride? Where will we go today? Go to Waterfall. Then we're off. I need to make some phone calls. Tra la la, I eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Yeah, this is the best room for snow wrestling. Snow wrestling is when she sneaks up on you from behind and tackles you <coughs> and yells snow wrestling. It's not the best game. Well, you know what I think. What? Snow wrestling. No! Oh gosh, you guys. If you're going to Snowden, I won't have much to say. But I will! There's the rub, right? What? There's a rub? Where? <laughs> In Snowden, duh. Okay. How about here, huh? <coughs> this is Papyrus's brother station. I'm always catching him slacking off or sleeping. But his results are just good enough to not fire him. Well, except today. He didn't tell me anything about you. Sans, I think you're in trouble. God, I was supposed to build a puzzle for this room, but I hate puzzles, so I just put a huge pile of rocks upstream. This is the room where I first spotted you. You have no idea how many spears I wanted to throw. But, um, that seagrass is under scientific protection. Oh. Wait, did you actually do the puzzle? You can't just jump across? You can't do the jibbity jibbity doodle? The what? Never talk to anybody in the room with the. Oh, I have to build that stupid bridge to make a phone call. I do. Let me skip the main bridge. Mm. I can't believe I never made a phone call in that room. Oh, wait, the barracks not speaking up. I, I know this is Undyne's area, but come on. It's a good thing I, I caught the barracks before. I would never have found out what he had said otherwise. Good team. She's great at building them. And I'm great at wrecking them. Every day, people come here and wish to the stars. I won't let them down. I'll make everyone's wishes come true. I wish I had eight legs, so I could wear four pairs of hot pants. I'll make most people's wishes come true. Swords and kissing. This is where I threw all those spears. 
That was fun. Let's do that again sometime. Ah! Let's not. And say we did. If it wasn't for that grass, I'd have kicked your... Ah, uh, if not for that booty, I'd have kicked your booty. Um... I'm dying at all, it's just a dearity game, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where are all these tables coming from? Valid question? southern wall. First you have to throw a party though. Hey, you should make it a costume party. And the pirates can have some place he seems normal. Try talking to the southern wall. The gems on the southern wall shine in a spectacular pattern. It's a nice thing you can see the southern wall from this angle. Thanks, Undyne. I just want to quickly, I don't... Ugh. Make this puzzle. Really, it was just an excuse to put a piano here. I love fighting the in the ivories. Huh? Did you solve the puzzle? No one has ever. I've been waiting so long for someone to. I mean, uh, big deal. Whatever. What are those a papyrus thing? Oh yeah, Sharon lives around here. I used to give her piano lessons. She was really talented, for someone with no fingers. One day, she stopped coming to our lessons, though. I wonder why. Hey, you figured out how to get the music to play? Nice, isn't it? Did you get umbrella? What? You're at my favorite spot? You better jump in at least one thousand puddles for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Nature trail. It's nice to have a rainy spot away from civilization. Though, with the city filling up, who knows how long that'll last. No, nobody leaves. Nobody comes in. How long does the place fill up? Where are they coming from? Okay, you guys. Asgore's castle. Guess there's no stopping you, huh? Very pretty castle. What the? Aaron? I am so scared. Ghosts aren't real, right? What? They are real. Oh no! dead ends here, unless you can jump. Honestly, I can't believe I expected you to go this way. What was I thinking? 
And how was I right? my house. Or, it was my house until we set it on fire. But hey, can't say I've never done that before. That's Nap to Bluke's house. They kinda keep to themselves, to their self, but that's a good ghost. I try to be a good neighbor, but I think they're scared of me. Come on, what's scary about a good-natured invite to wrestle? Can I call them from inside the house? performances. Where'd they go? Naps and Book's family used to run this farm, but they've all passed on. Oh? To different jobs, since there's not much business here. But them and their cousins stayed behind to run the family farm. But no one's seen their cousin for a long time. Now Naps and Book's all alone. Be nice to them, okay? Hi, Naps to Bloop. Acknowledge the fact that it's there, huh? Well, I'm gonna save you. Wait. You're filled with determination? Ah, oh, determination, huh? Nice try. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop here for now. Um, next time, we continue making phone calls as we make our way into Hotland via the Fairy Woman, backtrack a little bit to finish some phone calls, and maybe even meet Alphys. We'll see. Boombox, signing off.